In July of 2008, the Air Force began flying the new MQ-9 Reaper over Iraq. The Reaper can be flown over combat zones for long periods of time, providing persistent intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, or ISR, operations. The MQ-9 Reaper is a perfect platform for a lot of the work that we're doing here in Iraq. It provides a ISR capability for long duration, and yet it is still uh, armed enough so that we can prosecute and do the things we need to do on the ground to help integrate with the Army. The Reaper's design has evolved from the combat-proven Predator, but it's a very different machine. With a 66-foot wingspan, the Reaper is roughly the size of an A-10 attack aircraft. Its payload capacity is 3,000 pounds and makes it more of a hunter-killer than a killer scout, as was the Predator. All of this while minimizing the amount of airmen needed in the combat zone. We will deploy a small forward team to launch and recover the aircraft, to maintain it, to arm it, to do the things that you have to do with an aircraft physically. But when we start flying the long duration missions, the 16 hour missions or so, a lot of that can be done from back in the United States. The MQ-9 Reaper can fly up to 300 miles per hour and reach altitudes of 50,000 feet. Petty Officer Aaron Hebner, Baghdad. Uh -oh.